Greetings, everyone. Reverend Chuck here in this beautiful outdoors, but wearing a mask. And you may be wearing a mask, too, listening to this, watching me right now. I'm wearing it because, well, uh, doing so in solidarity with a couple of relations of ours. Three persons in our family, our extended family, Rosa and my extended family, who have been diagnosed with COVID, and they had all been vaccinated. Why did they get COVID? One of them traveled to Alabama to the funeral of a relation where members of the family were not vaccinated. We're hearing more and more stories like that, and they make me, and I'm sure they make you, very, very angry, as well as stories of wildfires that are caused by climate change just simply because we have not done the right thing as a country. Well, I'm reminded in times like these, times when people do not act well in our world who do not care much for the common good. I recall a sermon I preached twice in the last 12 years. It was a different sermon each time, but both times the sermon was titled, The Rankest of Sins is the Ranking of Sins. I truly believe that's so. We are going to engage a gospel story this Sunday from Luke's gospel, where Jesus drives home that very point. And he drives it home, and I'm going to preach on it in terms of my, the context of my experience in Ghana. He drives it home in two ways. And scripture drives it home in two ways. A, by pointing out in order to get to God's saving grace, we have to let go of our sin of pointing at others and B, that God also has liberation in store for us, but we enslave ourselves with our blame of others. The twin narratives of scripture, getting out of our sin to be opening, open to God's saving grace, getting out of our enslavement to be open to God's liberation as a people, as a common good, these are the trajectories of scripture if we will simply let go of pointing fingers at others and looking in a mirror and dealing with our own sin, our own enslavement. That was very much a part of my story and my journey in Ghana, and I look forward to sharing with you some of those findings once again this Sunday. I hope you will join us. You can always find our Zoom worship link at BethesdaPresbyterian.org, 10 a.m., Eastern Time, Sunday morning. I look forward to seeing you there.